is this beautiful motif that features a flower in the center, some webbing in the middle, and then nice and structured petals on the outside. On this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do the barnacle motif. I'm gonna be using a four millimeter hook and some acrylic yarn size four. Okay, we're gonna start with a slip knot and you're gonna start with a base ring. So for your base ring, you wanna chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're going to close off this ring by doing a slip stitch into the first chain that you made. So into that first chain, insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull through to close. And we're gonna be working into the center of that ring. Now for row one, we're going to start with a chain one. And then you wanna do one single crochet into the ring. And then a chain three. One, two, three. Now we wanna do a treble crochet into the ring. So you yarn over twice, insert your hook, grab the yarn, and now pull through two loops at a time for a treble crochet. Now we wanna do a chain three. One, two, three. And this ends the repeat. So we're gonna do that a total of eight times. That was our first time, so we need seven more times. The repeat starts at a single crochet into the ring, then a chain three, then a treble crochet into the ring. And then a chain three. That ends the repeat. I'm gonna do it one more time with you. Repeat starts at a single crochet into the ring, then a chain three. Now a treble crochet into the ring. Now a chain three. Okay, and that was my third repetition. I need a total of eight. So I'm gonna do it five more times and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, I just finished my eighth repetition here. I'm finishing off with a chain three. So now to finish off this row, we wanna do a slip stitch into the first single crochet of the row. So that first single crochet that you started with, you insert your hook into it, grab the yarn and pull through to close. And so at the end of this row, basically we've formed kind of like petals. So at the end of the row, you're going to have, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're gonna have eight petals here. So now for row two, we're going to do a slip stitch into each of the next three chains and treble crochet. So into the chains, you can go ahead and do a slip stitch. Here's my first one second chain and third chain and now a slip stitch on top of the treble crochet now we're going to do a chain 12 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and now we're going to do one double crochet into the ninth chain from the hook. So a double crochet into the ninth chain from the hook, we're gonna count backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Into that ninth chain, a double crochet. And now we're going to continue the repeat. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And now you wanna do a slip stitch into the top of the next treble crochet. Um, so that's going to be not this one that's um, kind of right next to you, but the next one over, the one at the next petal. So into that, we're going to do a slip stitch. And that's gonna give us this kind of triangle with a bit of a peak here. Um, continuing on, we're going to do, let me see here. Um, we're gonna do that eight times. This slip stitch here ends the repetition. So I'm gonna do it again with you. The repeat starts at a chain 12. So one, two, three, four. Let's grab more yarn here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now we wanna do a double crochet into the ninth chain from the hook. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To that ninth chain, just a double crochet. 
Now we chain three, one, two, three, and do a slip stitch into the next treble crochet. Not this one here, but this one over the next petal. And that's that. So we wanna repeat this all the way around. I'm gonna verbalize the repeat. It starts with a chain 12, then one double crochet into the ninth chain from the hook, then chain three, and slip stitch into the next treble crochet. So do this all the way around and I'll see you when you're done. Okay, I just finished my seventh repetition, but we need a total of eight. So I just thought to do this last one with you. I'm going to do my very last one and it's going to go into the treble crochet that um, we did the slip stitches into at the beginning. So let's do that repetition, chain 12, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now we wanna do a double crochet into the ninth chain from the hook. So counting backwards should be this one here. And then we chain three and do a slip stitch into that treble crochet that I was mentioning. So this one here, it's gonna be our last slip stitch. And that there is the end of row two. Now for row three, we're going to do a slip stitch into each of the next four chains. So let's see here these four chains that we have um, before the double crochet. So into each one of them, a slip stitch. So one, two, three, and the next one is where the double crochet is also, but that's the fourth chain. And now we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. One, two, three. Now we're gonna start the repeat into the chain eight space. We're going to do a half double crochet, seven single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now you wanna do a half double crochet. And now into the double crochet, like the other side of the double crochet here, into there we're going to do a double crochet. And that's gonna give you that arch that you want here. Um, let me see, continuing the repeat here, we're going to skip the last chain three of the same segment and first chain three of the next segment. Uh, so essentially we're skipping these three these three and moving straight to the other to the other loop and to the double crochet of that loop. Um, into it we're going to do one double crochet. So it's basically um, the double crochet is kind of laying um, flat right like this way. So we're working on this side of the double crochet and this side of the double crochet. So we're going to go into this side here with a double crochet. It's kind of into the fourth chain. And that's going to connect to these. And now you can do the repetition around the chain eight, which is the exact same. You're going to go into it with a half double crochet, then seven single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to do a half double crochet around the same chain space. And now we're going to do a double crochet on this side of the double crochet. And that's the repeat we wanna follow. Moving on, we're going to skip the next chain three and the following chain three and go directly into this side of the double crochet with a double crochet. Now we've come to the chain eight space, so into it we wanna do a half double crochet, seven single crochets. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a half double crochet into the same chain eight space. 
now into this side of the double crochet, a double crochet. Okay, and I want to show you what's happening here. As you can see, you're forming these like thicker loops, just adding um, the stitches around the little loops that you have from the previous row. So we're going to be doing this all the way around. I'll see you when I'm done the last loop. Okay, so I just did the repetition all the way around. Um, and now what we're going to do to end is we're going to do a slip stitch into the top of the chain three that you started with. So that chain three is here. You can pull it apart so we can see it better. So on top of that chain three, I'm going to insert my hook, grab the yarn and pull through to close. And this here is the end of row three. Okay, for row four, we're going to start by doing a chain one. And now we're gonna do one single crochet into the same chain that you're currently in. Into where the slip stitch went, you want a single crochet. And now we're going to start the row repeat. You're going to chain three. You're gonna skip the next two stitches, which is the half double crochet and the first single crochet. Into the next single crochet, you're gonna do one single crochet. Now chain three, skip one stitch. Into the next, we're going to work a single crochet. A chain four. And then a single crochet into the same stitch. And that's gonna give you this little peak at the top of the petal. Continuing on, we're going to chain three, skip one stitch and into the next do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain three. You're gonna skip all last three stitches here, which is a single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet. And basically between the double crochets, we're going to do a single crochet. Just kind of in between there, do a single crochet. And that's what you want around the petal. And now to finish the repeat, you're basically gonna skip the next double crochet. And that ends the repeat. Let's start it again by doing a chain three. One, two, three. We're skipping also the half double crochet and single crochet. So basically the way we can also word this is you're just gonna skip these next three stitches and then go into the single crochet with a single crochet chain three, skip a stitch into the next, a single crochet. Then you chain four into the same stitch, a single crochet. Chain three, skip one stitch into the next, single crochet. Chain three, skip three stitches, so skip the single crochet half double crochet and double crochet left. And in between the double crochets, we're doing a single crochet. And this is what we wanna do all the way around into each of the petals or the loops you have. So do that all the way around and I'll see you when you're done. Okay, I've just finished my very last repetition here to the last petal or loop. And now to finish off this row, we're going to just skip the last single crochet because we already have it at the beginning of the row. So you're gonna finish off with a chain three. And now we wanna do a slip stitch into the first single crochet that you started with. So insert your hook into there, grab the yarn and pull through to close. And that there is the end of row four. You can go ahead and cut off your yarn and thread your ends through. And look how stunning this is. I really like the webs in the middle that are formed. So you got kind of like a flower in the middle, then some web, and then some really nice petals that are more structured. Real stunning. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you just subscribe to my channel? Just do it, just do 